A wedding is a celebration of love. Tracy and Savannah are most grateful for your presence in this day when they pledge their lifelong love to each other. Your very presence symbolizes your love for them. The love felt in this place flows from the heart of God. The greatest love story ever found in these simple words, for God so loved the world, in John 3:16. The deepest love known to man is the love of God. We love because He first loved us. Savannah, it's hard for me to describe what you mean to me by using words. I can't imagine my life without you. You complete me. I thank God for bringing you into my life and now as my wife. I promise to love you more each and every day. Through highs and through lows, I will never give up on us. You have so many amazing characteristics. I love you now and I'll love you then. Here's to forever. And I both know how indecisive I can be. I simply don't like to make decisions. What's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> but if there's one decision in my life that I know is the right one, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. From the beginning, it was you. You're the love of my life and everything I've ever wanted and more. You're my soul, my happiness, my home, and all that I will ever need. You're the light on the dark days. You're my strength and my weakness. I truly don't know what I would do without you. I'm the luckiest girl in the world that you chose me to be your wife. People often talk about how difficult relationships are, and we honestly just can't relate. They say love is hard, yet our love is the easiest, most special thing I've ever experienced. Over the past five years, you've taught me to see the positive in every situation. You're my best friend, and you motivate me to be a better person every day. I love your thoughtfulness and your ability to keep me grounded. I love your loyalty to me and our relationship, and to Millie. <laughs> I can't wait to start this whole new chapter together today in front of our family and our friends. I promise to always fight for you, pursue you, and love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally for the rest of my life. I'm so proud that I get to be your wife. I love you more than life itself. Love is lost and love is found. It gets you high and then pulls you down.
crying. <laughs> Stop. Lock it up. I don't know, right? God has a plan for you both, and from this day forward, that plan involves each other. Ephesians 1.3 states, Before time, He knew you. Your life was designed and created, and the will of God drove you both to where you are today. Tracy. Take you, Savannah. Take you, Savannah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings that are here this day. Father, we thank you for this holy matrimony, being holy because you created it and you are holy. Father, I ask you to bless Tracy and Savannah. Bless this life that they are beginning, Father. Let them feel your presence each and every day as they use you for guidance in your spirit, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy and proud to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tracy Mills. We thank you for the vows and the commitment that Tracy and Savannah have made to each other and to you. It is a covenant, Father. A covenant between them and a covenant between them and you. Father, we ask you to bless this union, that they may depend on you in the guiding of their life, that they will be a light for you in this world, and that their marriage may be an example of what you meant for it to be. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 